Hey everyone, this week we're going to start looking at fertilizer and the first thing we're going to do is figure out some toxic levels. So what we've got measured out here is varying levels of 11418 fertilizer, which is a, a good fertilizer to use as our seedlings are in the establishment phase um, because it helps support their root development. So this is one of the few experiments that we can actually just mix different rates of fertilizer and figure out where would be the toxic level for our seedlings without actually doing some sort of lethal test and sacrificing our seedlings. So where we have to do that a lot in greenhouse science and horticulture science, this is one test that we can just rely on other people who have done this and killed their own seedlings and come up with an established number. Then we can mix various rates, do some measurements on those rates and figure out if we went to maybe five times the normal rate then would we be looking at a lethal rate for our seedlings. So what we've got here is water, just straight water. We've got half our normal rate. We've got our normal rate, which is 100 parts per million nitrogen, three times normal and five times normal. So you're going to use the uh, calculation on your worksheet and uh, calculate the amount of fertilizer that went into each of these mixes and we're going to give you some information to, to use for them. So it's important to measure uh, the conductivity and the pH of our water. Um, and then that's going to work as a baseline. So whatever we have in these is going to be dependent or added onto whatever is in our water. So on your worksheet where it has uh, the electrical conductivity of the fertilizer mix minus the water, you have to remove the water from that equation. And that, that's gonna be our main variable. So we've done the mixing, we've done some of the measuring so far. So uh, we've measured all of the conductivity in millimoles. So you can fill this information into your sheet. So the water only was 518 millimoles. The half normal was 842. The normal was 1,084. Three times normal was 3,590. And then the five times normal, our conductivity was 5,110. Okay, so those have all been pre-measured. Now we can measure the pH. And we're gonna start with the water and uh, move to the increasing values. Uh, and that just means that we don't have to rinse our pH pen or pH meter in between because whatever the pH is doing, we're going to be going in a consistent direction. Okay, so we've got our, our uh, mode set to pH. We're just going to set this first in the water and it's going to take a little while and it's going to bounce around a little bit uh, and you'll probably be thankful by the end of it that we didn't make you watch this process for the conductivity and the pH, uh, but it's good for you to see what happens with these um, instruments because if you end up using one on the job, now you'll know a little bit about what to expect. So we're just waiting until uh, the, the bouncing stops and we can read the pH value um, at that point. So I think, it I was gonna say it stayed at 7.02 for long enough, but now we're moving. So we'll just see uh, where it goes and when to call it. Okay, it's moving pretty slowly. So our pH of water is 7.1. Now we're going to the half times normal. we can call this at 6.4. Now our normal rate okay we can call it here at 
three times normal. Okay, we're going to call this at six and our five times normal. Okay, 5.9. So you can use those numbers to fill in the rest of your sheet and complete your assignment for this week.